Notice how clear this fresh gasoline is. I'd like to talk a little bit about how gasoline goes bad, and yes, I'm going to oversimplify some of this. Gasoline is not a single thing. It's a blend of a lot of petroleum products from C5, pentane, all the way up to C12, dodecane. And in fact, the octane rating is a measure of that blend, where it sits between heptane and octane, and how well it avoids premature ignition and engine knock. The first way it goes bad is the lightweight volatiles evaporating off and changing the blend. Lighter fluid is a blend of the lighter weight petroleum products and evaporates very easily. That's why it's used in wick lighters. The lighter weight volatiles have a low boiling point. That's why gasoline feels a little bit cold if you splash them on your skin. It's stealing heat from you in order to evaporate off. This will change the mixture a little bit and affect its ignition point. But this is a small thing, and the easiest way to deal with that is keeping the caps on your gas can. The second way gas goes bad is water. Water gets into gas through condensation. When you fill up your lawnmower, air gets into the tank and into the gas can. When the lighter weight volatiles evaporate into this fresh air, that cools the gas down the same way sweat cools down your body. And as the air temperature in your garage or out in the tool shed drops overnight, the temperature drops and the humidity in that air condenses out. And this will cause water to puddle at the bottom of the fuel tank in the gas can. There are two kinds of stabilizers. The first works on water. It acts kind of like soap and tries to keep the water in suspension dissolved in the fuel so that it doesn't rust out the tank and so that you don't get a pocket of water at the bottom of the tank and then run through the engine and you're trying to run off of a dose of pure water. But it does have a limit. This is a generator I worked on for a friend. It had been stored for almost three years with gasoline in the tank and it had rusted so bad the tank had to be replaced. This is the gasoline that I pulled out of my motorcycle a few videos back. It's over a year old. The third way it goes bad is polymerization, and I want to call your attention to the fact that this gasoline is turning brown. Polymerization is short-chain hydrocarbons linking together to form long-chain hydrocarbons. And in fact, this is how plastics are made out of petroleum products. This is also how a furniture oil finish will cure. The second type of stabilizer tries to reduce this, but it does have its limits. This is the carburetor from that same generator stored for almost three years with stabilized gasoline in it. That chunky brown stuff, it's not the additives. That's the actual gasoline itself polymerizing into lacquer, varnish, gunk, junk, whatever you want to call it. Fortunately, small engine carburetors are not too difficult to take apart and clean. And Carb Cleaner does a great job of dissolving that stuff. I ordered a new tank for that generator, cleaned the carburetor out, and nine years later, it's still running like a champ. There's a lot of advice on how long to keep stabilized fuel in the tank of your motor, how long to store it in the gas cans. For me, if I'm not sure I'm going to use that generator or that lawnmower within the next month, I'll drain it completely empty and dry of gasoline. And for my gas cans, I try to rotate that about every three months, although I'm not perfect. I make mistakes and I forget a few times. I would not use this in anything. I'm going to find a way to dispose of bad gasoline. I don't claim to be an authority on petroleum chemistry. This is just what works for me. I hope you found this informative or at least entertaining. I'm Steve from Workbench C. Go have fun with your tools. Pulling it.